Which horse is the best in Red Dead Online? This one. Actually, as you will see later from the test results, difference between horses in Red Dead Online on practice is not significant. But if we will take into account all the parameters, one horse is just a better choice than others, especially for beginners. I tested a lot of different horses to make such conclusion. Cheap horses, expensive horses and really expensive horses. So anyway, each horse in Red Dead Online basically has all only five main parameters. Amount of health, stamina, then speed, acceleration and handling. Some players believe that horses also have some hidden parameters like bravery. We are gonna talk about this later, but now let's focus on not imaginary parameters. You will see all the information about the horse at stables when you will be buying it. And by the way, if game is not letting you to purchase your second horse and everything looks grey like this, it's because you need to buy another stable stall. To do so, just choose manage owned horses and unlock a new stall. First time it will cost you only $100, but each next stall will cost you more and more. You can have up to 10 stable stalls. There are a few things you need to know about when purchasing a new horse. First of all, both speed and acceleration can have up to 10 bars. For example, this horse, Turkoman, has 6 out of 10 bars in speed. You see, 6 white bars. But there are two additional gray bars. What do they mean? Just like with the weapon on stats in Red Dead Online, these gray bars mean potential. How many additional stats you can get from other sources, in this case from your saddle and stirrups. And yes, it looks like you can get two additional bars of speed and acceleration from saddle, but in reality you can get three bars from one specific saddle because it's broken. Second thing is very important when you buying a new horse and comparing it to the horse that you've been using a lot. Amount of health and stamina that you can see is not the maximum amount of health and stamina that this horse has. It's a health and stamina for bonding level 1. Yes, each horse has a bonding level. When you ride or feed your horse, it earns experience and it increases the bonding level of your horse. Each bonding level increases amount of health and stamina of your horse and also unlocks new tricks. For example, on level 2 it will be possible to calm down your horse by pressing left stick or G button on keyboard, which also restores some amount of stamina. Anyway, maximum bonding level is 4 and you will reach it in around few hours of riding your horse. Just don't forget to feed it. The best food is hay, just buy it at stables. So yeah, don't compare horses with maximum and minimum bonding level because difference is actually pretty significant. And now let's take a closer look at all the parameters. First of all, acceleration. Basically it means how fast the horse reaches maximum speed. And the difference here between the cheapest and the most expensive horse is so insignificant that it's super hard to measure or see. But even in theory, this parameter is not important for most Red Dead Online activities because you usually can ride all the time with maximum speed without slowing down. There are only few exceptions, like races in Saint Denis where you have to take a lot of turns. For the same reason, next parameter, handling, is also not super important in Red Dead Online. Basically, handling shows how responsive horse is to your controls. And you will really see the difference between horse with heavy handling like Shah and the horse with elite handling like Arabian. This difference is especially obvious when you make in turns, but on practice this difference doesn't matter. Because riding speed is relatively low and any turn will not be a problem for a horse with any handling. And since we are talking about the riding speed, a lot of players believe that it's the most important parameter. And yes, it really looks like this horse with 7 bars in speed should be much faster than this one with only 3 bars in speed. But take a look at this test. On both horses I will be using Nakadocha's saddle which adds 3 bars of speed. By the way, it's not the only reason why Nakadocha's is the best saddle in the game. Later we will talk about this. Also both horses have maximum pointing level and we are riding from Emerald Ranch to Valentine because it's relatively straight road with minimum amount of obstacles. Anyway, Missouri Fox 
Trotter, horse with 10 bars and speed, finished in around 1 minute and 45 seconds, and Shire finished only 2.8 seconds later. So it's only 2.7% difference in speed, or only 0.66% per each bar. And yes, guys, I know that it's really weird because when you ride a horse like Shire, it really feels much slower than Arabian or Fox Trotter. But in reality, the difference in speed is not significant. And I've made multiple different tests on different distances all across the map. Expensive Turkmen versus the cheapest horse in this game, even Arabian horse versus donkey. And all these tests showed the same result. One bar in speed equals 0.6 to 0.7% of a difference in real speed. So the speed parameter is also not the most important, especially since you can get three bars from saddle. Actually, if any parameters of your horse matter, it's last two, amount of health and stamina. So when you're riding with acceleration, your horse uses stamina bar, and when it runs out of stamina, it will throw you off. But on practice, it will never happen, because first of all, each 18 seconds, you can calm down your horse, as I already mentioned, and restore some amount of stamina. But which is even more important, stirrups in your saddle decrease stamina drain rate. In some saddles, for example in Upland, they're built in and you cannot change them, and for other saddles you just have to buy the most expensive stirrups that will give you 50% stamina drain rate decrease. By the way, Nacogdoches is broken because it has built-in stirrups with 35% stamina drain rate decrease, and also you can purchase additional stirrups for it with 50% decrease, so together you will receive 85% decrease in stamina drain rate. So your horse will not run out of stamina, even if you will forget to restore it by calming it down. But maximum amount of stamina still matters a little bit for your horse, because it also uses stamina when making jumps or swimming, and on a pretty fast rate. Anyway, the most important parameter, which makes at least some difference on practice, is the maximum amount of health. But again, it's not as important as it might look, because in PvP any horse will die extremely fast. Dynamite arrows, explosive ammo, sniper rifles, all this will destroy any horse. And on the other hand, in PvE, when you're fighting NPCs, any horse will be fine. Because NPCs are aiming at you, not at your horse, and they will pretty much never kill it. However, there is a noticeable difference between horses with low amount of health and maximum amount of health. I'm talking about fall damage. Quite often you will fall down, at least I'm folding down quite a lot when riding in Red Dead Online, and your horse will be left with a very small amount of health. But if your horse will have low maximum health to begin with, or empty health core, which will happen if you will forget to feed it, it will die. So yeah, it's actually better for your horse to have maximum amount of health. So we are almost ready to name the best horse in Red Dead Online, considering all these parameters, but first I need to mention bravery. I made multiple tests with different horses in different situations. By the way, if you're interested in details of these tests, a link to the video will be in the description. Anyway, I came to conclusion that bravery is not a thing, it's not one of the horse parameters. Will your horse throw you off or not is pretty random, sometimes broken, and usually depends on your reaction, how fast you started calming your horse down and how fast you change the direction to move away from predators. Another argument why horse bravery is not a thing is that after Red Dead Redemption 2 was released on a PC, data miners tried to find horse bravery parameter in a game files but never found anything. So considering all that, which horse is the best in Red Dead Online? You can find it in multi-category and it's called Mustang. There's four Mustangs in particular, because take a look, first of all, they have maximum amount of health and stamina on bonding level 4. Also 6 bars in speed, which with Nakadocha's saddle gives us 9 out of 10 bars. Decent acceleration and standard handling, which is fine and more than enough, but the most importantly, Mustang has no level requirements, you can purchase it on any level, unlike many other horses with good parameters. And even more, the price is affordable, even for beginners, it's only $500, and sometimes there is a 30% discount, so you can buy it for $350. But even for $500, it's possible to purchase it on pretty low levels, buy some good stirrups for any saddle, later update for Nacogdoches, and that's it, you have a high-level horse with great stats. And yes, at some point you will buy a lot of other horses just because you have to spend money 
somehow, but for beginners, Mustang is just the best choice by far. By the way, if you are a beginner, I suggest you to go and check out the video that you can see on your screen now. It's most common mistakes that beginners are still making in Red Dead Online. And with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe, stay healthy, goodbye.